Steve Waterman, Microsoft Sales Lead, Trinity Group. Hi, Steve. Um, I'm Lucy Sheriff with The Register. Can um, we kick things off with uh, just a little bit of a b bit of background about you and Trinity Group? Uh, you're a platform partner of Microsoft? Yeah, right? sure. So uh, Trinity Group are a UK-based systems integrator. So we're a multi-vendor platform partner, uh, essentially helping customers in their evaluation, uh, their implementation and deployments of technologies to enable them to grow as an organisation. We're here today for the launch of uh, Windows Server 2012 in London. Um, you guys are the technical launch partner for Microsoft. What does that mean in terms of in, in, for the launch? The launch presents a really great opportunity for Trinity Group. So as a platform partner, um, products like Windows Server 2012 form a real core part of our, of our offering to our customer base. Uh, it's great that we as a platform partner have got a chance to be part of Microsoft launch in helping them and their customers realise the benefits that the technologies offer them as a business. So how are people, how are people starting to use the new product? We're experiencing a real sea change in the industry and we see customers really wanting to transition from traditional infrastructures to one of a private, hybrid or public cloud environment. And it's not really a case of if or when it will happen, it is absolutely happening. So we see a lot of change in customers wanting to make that transition from a traditional on-premise environment. That's really been driven by a number of key factors. Really at the heart of this is the end user and, and approaching things from being a people-centric organisation. So end users have put far more greater demand on IT and of, of their businesses to essentially receive and to consume data in many different ways, using many different devices. Um, so that in itself puts a lot of pressure on IT um, departments to basically change the mechanisms of how they deliver IT to their workforce. The consumerization of IT is changing the expectations that people have of what IT will be able to deliver at work. Absolutely. When we look at it from a people-centric perspective, Users are using these types of technologies, they're using these types of devices outside of the workplace and they're bringing those, those, those devices into the, into the IT infrastructure. So IT has an obligation to be able to accommodate those devices and, and just enable end users to be far more productive, far more effective in the type of data that they consume and the different ways that they do actually consume that data. From an IT infrastructure perspective, that obviously has, well, that implies lots of security um, implications enabled to make sure that those end users are serviced and managed securely and appropriately. Are you seeing more um, public cloud deployments, private cloud deployments, or are you, are you still getting a really good mix of the two? We see interest on private cloud from a variety of customers. We focus on private and public sector organisations. Um, there's no real specific vertical or industry sector that's, that's interested in this. From our experience, it's pretty much every organisation out there has some degree of interest and relevance and absolutely recognises the value that making that transition to a private hub, um, hybrid or public cloud environment absolutely serves a purpose to their organisation. Why should people be looking to make the switch now? What, what is it about Windows Server 2012 that makes it easier to, to run cloud projects? The industry is continuing to evolve into a private cloud environment. So organisations at some point will inevitably be running private, hybrid or public cloud environments. So absolutely, implementing these technologies now is building foundations for the future so that as businesses grow, as their IT infrastructure pressures continue to scale and end user demands continue to be put on the organisation, delivering these technologies right here, right now is absolutely building them a foundation for the future. So when your customers come to you, what, what is it that matters most to them about a cloud deployment? What are they asking you for? What are the key, the key factors that they're interested in? First and foremost, customers just want that assurance that the Microsoft um, product set that enables private cloud is absolutely appropriate and it's fit for purpose and it is capable of delivering the functionality that, and that sorry that organizations require so first and foremost they just want the assurance that the cap of the technical capabilities are able to cope with the security with the scalability and the performance enable them to service their largest business workloads 
when we typically engage with a customer, the first question they really want to understand is what is this trend that we talk about when we um, discuss customers that are moving from a traditional infrastructure to one of a private, hybrid or public cloud environment. So organisations just really need to understand what that means to them from a business perspective, from a technical perspective and from an operational perspective and just get that insight to what that journey looks like for them as an organisation and the sorts of challenges that they may encounter in making that transition. Thereafter, clearly, organisations want assurance that this type of technology and these types of platforms enable them to grow as an organisation to meet their specific demands. So absolutely concerned and focused on elements such as scale and performance so that this platform is absolutely able to cope with their largest business workforce. As you then start to delve deeper into the, con into the conversations and the engagements of customers, they want that assurance that there's the scale and the performance capabilities of that technology. Furthermore, as organisations, it's paramount that they're able to operate 24-7 so that their infrastructure and their platforms are always highly accessible and are always highly available. Furthermore, when we start to actually then look at the end users, we need to start profiling who those users are what they do as a function within an organisation, the type of information that they need to consume from that organisation and the different ways that they actually then manage that information and consume it as, 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 as end users. So that in itself also implies that from a multi-tenant perspective, IT organisations have to cope with all of these varying uh, mechanisms in terms of how end users actually consume this information. So they're just really looking for that assurance that the platform is appropriate, it is capable, its performance and it actually satisfies the requirements that their end users are actually putting on them as an IT function. Can you maybe talk a little bit about the key features of um, Windows Server 2012 that are kind of really helping companies to get on board the cloud, the cloud um, bandwagon? Sure, Windows Server 2012 includes a really broad and compelling set of new features and functionality. Furthermore, when you actually broaden that view to look at some of the other key technology uh, releases this year around technologies such as the System Center suite and also with the forthcoming Windows 8 and Office 2013 launches, this has been an absolutely seismic year for Microsoft and in parallel it's also been a significant year for Trinity Group as a platform partner. So when you combine these technologies, and specifically when you look at Windows Server 2012, some of the aspects around the migration features so that organisations are instantly able to migrate significant volumes of data with absolutely no downtime whatsoever, which reduces time, it reduces cost, and it reduces risk to the organisation, is absolutely resonating with our customers. The sheer capability to grow the storage capabilities is extremely, com is extremely compelling and also is, is, is from, from a cost perspective, very um, interesting to our customers. We're experiencing a number of customers wanting to transition not only the data centre from a private cloud perspective, but also actually reach out to the desktop and promote um, capabilities such as virtual desktop infrastructures um, and delivering infrastructure and desktop as a service. So some of the key features around the VDI capabilities of Windows Server 2012 absolutely deliver immediate and quick wins for our customers. The most compelling reason why customers need to implement Windows Server 2012 is the fact that it's built from the cloud up. We've talked about the fact that clients are making that transition from a traditional IT infrastructure to one of a private hybrid or public cloud and the way that Windows Server 2012 has been built absolutely supports and embraces the cloud and enables our customers to build on that foundation. And given that it's got such sheer scale and performance capability, the fact that it's got high availability enables business resilience and supports the differing ways that end users are working with organisations. So given the things that we've discussed around Windows Server 2012, it's Trinity's view that Windows Server 2012 is absolutely the most consistent and capable platform and makes absolute economic sense to our customers.